Today, I'm going to help you deal with three possible issues with a few bonuses that might be related to the graphic user interface of your Raspberry Pi. But first, my name is Steve Smith, this is TQA Weekly, and let's get to it. This is my desktop on a Raspberry Pi. You will notice three things. I don't have black around the graphic user interface, my resolution seems to be accurate, and of course, all of the icons are correctly proportioned for the screen. But how did I do this? Some of you might be experiencing issues that have to do with overscan, pixel doubling, or incorrect resolution. The solution is to go to the Raspberry Pi icon in the menu. Mine's at the bottom. Yours will more than likely be at the top. By the way, you can change this position. You'll go to Preferences, and you'll go to the Raspberry Pi configuration. This will bring you a menu. So, from top to bottom, you can set the resolution. And selecting the resolution is something that you should think about. Because you have to select the resolution of the monitor. It's a one-to-one -one relationship, especially if we're talking about liquid crystal displays. So LCDs. And that way, you'll actually get the best experience. So select the correct resolution for everything to work correctly. The next thing is overscan. Overscan is when you have that black space around the graphic user interface. By selecting disabled, it will remove the overscan space, which is useful for some CRT screens, but not necessarily useful for a liquid crystal display. And the last detail is pixel doubling, which just makes everything look twice as high and twice as wide. It's great for really small form factor liquid crystal displays that have a touch screen integrated. It's horrible on a desktop where you don't have to press anything on it. So that is how you disable it. For those that might have issues with vision, get out of here. Make sure you set the resolution to the screen correctly. Right click the desktop, go to desktop preferences, and you'll go under defaults and you'll see that you can set basically everything to whatever default that you want. So let's say you're hard of vision, you can select for large screens and everything will get bigger without necessarily ruining the image quality. And of course, for those that want the screen to be exactly the way it's supposed to be, well, all you really have to do is to select the medium. And that's actually it. That's how you fix everything. That's how you fix it so that you can see what you're doing. And that's all you need to know to deal with the graphic user interface of the Raspberry Pi by default. Now, like if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, share with those that you think can benefit from this, and don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, suggestions for topics, email me at ask.tqaweekly.com, or go to my website, tqaweekly.com, where you can find other episodes related to Raspberry Pi. You can use a search engine to find them all. And of course, you can have access to the contact form, other ways of subscribing, as well as other ways of helping out this show. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.